Hey everyone, um, okay, the next door neighbor's dog was barking up a racket, so I'm really hoping that he's finished now. Um, and the lighting is terrible because it's really stormy outside, so unfortunately, even though I have both lights on, I'm sorry if you hear the dog, uh, but even though I have both lights on, it's still dark in here, so apologies for that. But, um this video I'm so excited for. Um, I won a Goodreads giveaway and it was going to be, this video was going to be like an unboxing envelope opening, but unfortunately uh, I messed up in the take where I actually opened it. So yeah, that that's not a thing anymore. But um, I won a Goodreads giveaway and I was so excited because I've entered like 20 or 30 Goodreads giveaways since I did my new account, um, created my new account, and some of them I'm like, oh yeah, I, I would love to win a copy of that. Like, that sounds great to read. Others, I have been so unbelievably excited for and hoping that I would win. And luckily, this was one of them. So I was super excited when they contacted me and said, hey, you're a winner. Um, and it is a finished hardcover, beautiful edition of Hidden Sea by um, Gregory McGuire. Uh, it's, a, it's a tale of the once and future Nutcracker. Now, I have two reasons for really, really wanting a copy of this. Um, first, I read Wicked when I was in high school, and I loved Gregory Maguire's writing. I loved his take on the Oz story. And, you know, you would think that since I now own all four of the Oz books, as well as his Confessions of the Ugly Stepsister, that I would have read them all by now, instead of just Wicked. But no, I'm just that slow. Um, but uh, hopefully uh, reading this and really loving this one will get me uh, in gear to maybe reread Wicked and then read the rest of them next year, um, I'm hoping. Um, and I own, the reason I bought Confessions of an Ugly Sip Sister is because I love um, the film. There was a TV film back in the early, very early 2000s that actually had a very young Matthew Goode, and um, yeah, I love that film. It's awesome. Uh, so I really need to read those. Uh, but yeah, so that was reason one for wanting this. The second is, you'll notice it is a retelling of The Nutcracker, um, and The Nutcracker by E.T.A. Hoffman is one of my favorite stories. It's I would say it's my favorite non-religious Christmas story. Like, my favorite Christmas story is obviously the birth of Jesus, because that's what Christmas is. But, um, or that's why we celebrate Christmas. Uh, but Nutcracker is definitely my other favorite Christmas story of all time. Um, I love the original story. I love the ballet. I think what really made me love the story is seeing the ballet when I was little. I saw, um, I saw it two or three years in a row um, by the Russian Ballet, and I love it so, so much. Um, so yeah, I love the ballet, I love the book, um, one of my favorite Christmas movies is actually the animated, uh, Nutcracker Prince from the 80s, which I think had Megan Follows as Clara and Kiefer Sutherland as the Nutcracker Prince, so I love that, I watch that every year. So yeah, you can say I'm a bit obsessive with that story, so the fact that this is a retelling made me super happy. And actually, because I'm showing you guys this, I also wanted to show you my my Nutcracker statue um, that I have. And I just think it's so cute that he's holding his own little miniature Nutcracker. Um, and he actually works, like, if you... Um, I've never actually tried to, to use it, but... Um, he's, I think he's supposed to work, because, like, he actually has the handle at the back where you can open his mouth. Um, and then, if you can tell from, oh, okay, I don't want to show you that, because it has a label, but the bottom has a little music in it, um, like a little music box thing, uh, that I believe plays, um, it either plays the, f the sweet or the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, and I'm pretty sure it plays the actual sweet. Um, of the Nutcracker. Uh, so anyway, it's this video is not about my obsession with the Nutcracker, it's about this. But that's why I was so excited to win this. Um, 
So I'll show you guys the features. First of all, gorgeous illustrations. Um, I mean, I should say illustration because I don't think it's illustrated on the inside. Um, but yeah, this is beautiful. And then the spine like has a little bit of the same one. And then if you turn the spine to the side, like the um, font is beautiful. And then the back just has praise for his other works. Um, two of the Wicked books, um, I mean two of the Oz books, Wicked and Son of a Witch, and then Confessions of a like, Stepsister, and Mirror Mirror, which I believe is his retelling of Snow White, um, which I actually used to own a copy of this book, and I have no idea what happened to it. Like, I owned it like 10 years ago, and didn't actually get the chance to read it, and then something happened to it, and I don't remember what. Um, and then After Alice, which is his most recent book before this one, that I haven't actually gotten a chance to read yet. Um, I'm really sorry for the planes, you guys. That's really annoying. But I don't want to cut this off and do this video again. Um, okay, so that's that. And then the best part about the gorgeousness of this book is if you, like, that's like that. And then if you take the dust jacket off... This is what the naked hardcover looks like, and I just think that is so freaking cool and beautiful. Um, and that's what the side, and then it has the same on the back. Uh, so I just think it's so cool that it's an illustration of the wood carving of the Nutcracker, and then he's got the walnut. Um, and it's interesting, every depiction of the Nutcracker that I've ever seen, it's always a walnut. Like, it's never any other kind of nut, which I think is weird. Um, uh, but anyway, I just find that interesting for some reason. And then the deckled edges, those are so pretty. And it's, what I love about these is that they're even deckled edges. So you, when you feel them, it's like, oh, definitely deckled edges. But then, um, it's not uneven. Cause with the uneven ones, I feel like you're more likely to get a paper cut sometimes. So I just thought that was beautiful. And then... I will read you guys the summary and then read you guys the little note that the publisher sent me. Um, oh no, okay. Hang on, I have to fix this first. Okay. I got it. We're good. Um, okay, so the inside says, um, beloved New York best time, beloved New York Times bestselling author Gregory Maguire twins and origin legend of the famous nutcracker with the life of Drosselmeyer, the toy maker who carves him. And Drosselmeyer has always been one of my favorite characters. Just saying. Uh, okay, so it says, having brought his legions of devoted readers to Oz in Wicked and to Wonderland in After Alice, Maguire now takes us to the realms of the Brothers Grimm and E.T.A. Hoffman, the enchanted Black Forest of Bavaria and the Salons of Munich. Hidden Sea imagines the backstory of the Nutcracker, revealing how this entrancing creature came to be carved and how he guided an ailing girl named Clara. Clara, Clara, I kind of interchanged that, but this sounds like it'd be cooler to say Clara. Um, through a dreamy paradise on a Christmas Eve. At the heart of Hoffman's mysterious tale hovers Godfather Drosselmeyer, the ominous, canny, one-eyed toy maker made immortal by... Petipa and Petipa, I, I hope I said that right, and Tchaikovsky's ballet, who presents the once and future Nutcracker to Clara, his goddaughter. Uh, but Hidden Sea is not just a retelling of the classic story. Maguire discovers in the flowering of German Romanticism a migrating strain of Hellenic mystery cult and ponders a profound question. How can a person who is abused by life, shortchanged and challenged, nevertheless access secrets that benefit the disadvantaged and powerless. Um, ultimately, Hidden Sea offers a message of hope. If the compromised godfather Drosselmeyer can bring an enchanted nutcracker to a young girl in distress on a dark winter evening, perhaps everyone, however lonely or marginalized, has something precious to share. Uh, so that just sounds really, really intriguing to me, um, and amazing, and... I'm just, I'm so excited. Okay, now on to the letter from William Morrow. Uh, William Morrow is a, it's actually, I guess, technically from HarperCollins, but it's 
William Morrow is an imprint of HarperCollins, and they are pretty much one of my favorite publishers at this point, um, specifically William Morrow, because they publish all of Neil Gaiman's books and they publish all of Agatha Christie's books, and those are two of my five favorite authors of all time. Um, and then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, I really love Gregory Maguire as well. So, yeah, I just, I really love the publishing company. <laughs> um, thank you for your interest in Hidden Sea, The Tale of the Once and Future Nutcracker by Gregory Maguire, and congratulations on being selected as a winner in the recent giveaway. We hope you enjoy reading your copy of Hidden Sea. Um, please help us spread the word. If inclined, feel free to post a review on the Goodreads or Amazon book pages, or post a photo of the book on your preferred social media accounts. Happy reading. Um, so I, of course, will be posting a bunch of pictures, like, of this beautiful thing on Instagram. Like, I'm probably going to do a picture of the cover and then take it off and take a picture of the naked hardcover, because that's so beautiful, um, and put those on Instagram. And then uh, Goodreads very strongly encourages um, reviews for giveaway books because um, then you're more likely to win future giveaways if you review the books that you do win. Um, and I'm definitely going to do that, but I'm hoping they don't mind if I wait a little bit because the thing about Nutcracker is I've always associated this story with Christmas time. So I feel like if I try to read this in October, it's going to feel completely out of place for me. Um, so I'm gonna read it probably like halfway through November or maybe very early December because um, I do want to put up a review as soon as possible. Um, and for those of you who just love the way this looks and want to go pick up a copy before I've even reviewed it, um, it is gonna be released on Halloween actually, uh, so October 31st of this year. Uh, so yeah, I just, I think it's so, so pretty, and I'm so excited to read it. Uh, and yeah, this will be some of the best Christmas reading this year, I hope. Um, I hope that it's like everything that I think it's gonna be, because it, it just sounds amazing. Okay, so that is my complete gush, that is my 12 and a half minute gush over this book, and my excitement at winning this book. Um, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys are already interested in this or um, if, you know, you're going to wait for reviews to come out. Um, yeah, this just seems really exciting. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.